Connor, now it's time for my favorite part of the entire semester, when we get to count down the top 10 performances from USC Athletics throughout the semester. Let's get to it. Starting right here at number 10, second quarter, USC leads number four, UW on the road. Sam Darnold finds Daniel Emotorbebe falling down for the big game, but Emotorbebe wasn't done there. Nice little stop route here late in the game. Touchdown, DT. He brings it home for the game ceiling score. On to number nine, three and a half weeks ago at the Coliseum against Oregon, Ronald Jones, foot in the ground, oh my God. I think the Oregon safety's ankles are still on the field at the Coliseum. Those are part of Rojo's 171 rushing yards that day, and USC won 45 to 20. Same UW game from earlier. Dory Jackson, look at this. Jake Browning steps back. He launches it. Jackson right there, picks it oh off, my. falling down, being pulled down. Another look right here. Excellently shot footage right now. ISO shot of Dory Jackson. He skies up there. Jim Thorpe Award potential nominee. On to number seven, earlier this season, the women's soccer team set a school record of seven consecutive games without allowing a goal. You can see that stellar defense led by Sammy Joe Prudhomme. Connor, they went over a month without allowing a goal. I don't even remember what I was doing a month ago. I definitely wasn't living in my apartment, that's <laughs> for sure. However, at number six, Oregon game again, second down back in USC territory. Darnold scrambles away. He keeps his eyes down the field. And who else does he find but Emotor Bebe again? Oh, the tip drill. Oh, that's what they practice. And he brings it down for the big game. Darius Rogers with the big hit. On to number five, back in early October at the Coliseum against Colorado. Look at Darius Rogers with this Randy Moss esque catch over the Colorado defender to seal the victory for USC. What a play by Darius. Right here, UCLA visits the Tangzhou Center in mid-November on a 57-game win streak, but it may as well be January 1974 when Notre Dame broke the UCLA basketball record because USC wins this one and earns the number one seed in the nation. That same game against Colorado earlier, this arguably is the play of the year. I don't even know why it's at number three. Adore Jackson with the sideline toe tap. Oh my gosh, we got to see that one again. We got to see that one again. Adoree Jackson skies with the uber athletic move to get his toe down. What a crazy interception. USC wins 21-17. Is that now three ankles left on the field? I don't know. Number two right here, Sammy Joe Pruden. Ba -ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, drawing the suspense leading up to the cage. Penalty kicks against Texas A&M. She saves it off the bar. Oh my gosh, is it in? Is it in? It's not. Sammy Joe celebrates. That's the first shot in PK's. Alex Anthony, the USC star, needs to net this one for the win. And she does exactly no that. USC moves on to the Sweet 16 with a 4-3 penalty kick win over A&M. Finally, the number one performance of the year. I think you knew what it was. Dory Jackson this past weekend against Notre Dame picks up that punt on the bounce, houses it. You know that's one of Dory's most dangerous is when that punt's bouncing around, the defense is scrambling. He made that one look easy. Later on in the game, he takes the easy pitch and catch from Sam Darnold all the way to the house. Look at this block by Darius Rogers. He's making his way all over in these highlights. And Dory with another touchdown, his second of the game, but he wasn't done. He takes his kick off to the house all the way through the teeth of the defense and comes up with one of the most athletic and dynamic hurdles I've ever seen. You know why number 43 is a kicker, because he didn't even come close on that touchdown. Adoree Jackson all the way to the house, and you know he's about to throw up that Heisman post. I think he should be invited to New York. Maybe that's just me, but USC won that game 45-27. to 27.